what is this? Top chat? No, I want to see all chat. I don't want to see top chat. I want to see a lot of chat. Let's see here. All right. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm doing a makeover right now. And I'm doing shelves in the living room because my hair my hair is bare. Why'd I come live right now? <laughs> my house is bare because I took all the Christmas stuff down and now I was just left and I was trying to figure out what I wanted. Hey Megan, I was trying to figure out what I wanted and I was being really indecisive. So I'm having a Dr. Jekyll and a Mr. Hyde. She did it. She did it. Yeah, y'all, y'all just now coming back. I came back to literally one person here sitting here in the chat. And I said, I said, y'all, 591 of y'all had one thing to do. <laughs> like one thing. You had one job. And you went run off. Um, I'm, I'm having all sorts of problems today. This is real life. We're doing old style, fearfully created. Um, just pure, pure chaos over here today. Hold on. You're going to see my hand. Um, only because I'm going to use this old cup that's been sitting here with tea in it for two days. I hope that's tea. Uh, and I'm going to use that as a tripod. I'm, I'm really chaotic today. <laughs> Hi, y'all. Oh, God. <laughs> for shoving me out the way. I'm really, I'm trying to bring in, it's snowing right here. I just saw snowing emojis. I'm trying to bring in the, the chaos and like tame the beast inside me right now. The beast? But when I say the ADHD is having its way with me today, like the ADHD is having its way with me today. <laughs> so these are going to be shelves. You, it doesn't look much like a shelf right now. It looks like uh, the plank off of Ed, Ed and Eddie. <laughs> you know, yeah, but it's going to be a shelf ho hopefully prayerfully if we can pull it off shane can pull it off all day long but i don't know if i'm gonna be able to pull it off if we can pull it off it's gonna be a shelf my living room if it's not gonna be pulled off it'll be a ladder no i was showing them on instagram the other day where, I, where we built that uh ladder that blanket ladder with two by fours yeah. and i got a bunch of comments saying that I, di I didn't need to climb that they thought i was literally building a two by four ladder to climb and we just put it was supposed to be a blanket ladder you'll never see a blanket ladder that's built with two by fours except for on my channel <laughs> that was like two that years thing ago was though heavy we've too. come a long way <laughs> that thing was heavy we've come a long way hey betty we y'all are going too fast i need shane to build me some floating shelves well speaking of floating shelves that's exactly what we're doing right now and I don't know what to do. Also, Tater and Binks are really mad at us right now because apparently they don't want to be in there with the kids. They want to be running around here with the wood and the saws and the hammers and all that stuff. And Tater would be the dog to eat a nail. So that ain't happening. Yep, no. No, I'm not paying $2,000 to have a nail extracted for my wiener dog. So we're doing... It's, you know, them, you know them, little, them little cocktail weenies that have a toothpick in it? That's what it looked like. <laughs> okay, um, I pitched live too early. <laughs> I pitched live too, too early. early. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing shelves. Let's let's get on. I'm so sorry. And if you're new here, this this was used to be fearfully created. I have to kind of like woo saw myself into. So you know you gotta bring that flesh into submission. That's what I'm trying to do right now. She gets a little feisty sometimes. I'm I gotta confused. be like, what? Get, you What's know, going on? my chaos. Your my chaos. chaos. <laughs> my chaos. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing floating shelves in the living room, and I have a lot of wood tones in the kitchen. And I feel like if I bring out wood tones into the living room, it's gonna be a little. It's not gonna be a farmhousey. It's gonna be barnhousey. And I don't know if I want a it's barn in here or not. I don't care. Whoever says farmhouse is dying. The devil is a liar. It is not going nowhere. There's always going to be a farmhouse somewhere, even if it's just my farmhouse. I'm going there. It's going to live on forever. But I don't want farmhouse to turn into barn house. And I can get in the habit of doing a lot of that. Like I get to really liking something, and then I just like put it everywhere, and it ends up being too much of that something. And then I end up, what's that word? Not regress, not recharge. I end up what? What people say? Uh, resent. I end up resenting that thing that I love so much because I have it everywhere and y'all disappeared on me again. Yeah, hey Jennifer. Um I don't know what's on. Hey, why? Somebody why? just said why. You're you, you guys know me so well, you're answering my questions before I even get 
I've lost Farm weight. Farmhouse is better than Waffle <laughs> Thank House. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm working hard. I actually just invested in something to help me lose weight even more. Like, that makes it sound like I went overseas and like got like a special fruit. <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> I didn't go buy a tapeworm. <laughs> I bought a piece of equipment to help me get into shape. Honestly, if we're being honest, the tapeworm would have probably been less expensive though. Um, but anyway, what, how'd we get here? Oh, somebody just said white. We're so close that you're reading my mind because my I'm going in between white and the Jacobian stain. I hope I said that right. I I have a habit of saying stuff wrong, and it's just because I it's hard. I I said Jacobian for the longest time. I catch myself still saying that. I try not to do that. <coughs> but we're going in between Jacobian and white. Now thought processes behind these two. Let me show y'all. Y'all are getting a sneak peek of where it's going to be, what it's going to look like before the video goes How up. it's going to be. On this wall be. right here, see my beam right there? No, you don't. See my beam right there? On this wall adjacent. Thank you, that word right. That was very well <laughs> On this wall adjacent to that beam, there's going to be really long shelves, okay? Not for Cracker Barrel decor. I'm wanting to put more pictures. I, I spoke about that a little bit ago. <clears throat> Peanut butter smoothie. Heck yeah, I love a peanut butter smoothie candy. Man, you're about uh, to lose a cup. <laughs> oh no, hold on. My two day OT, it, it was falling on me. Um, <laughs> where was I? <laughs> Snap, crackle, and pop, y'all. Where was I at? Oh, I'm building those shelves so, not so that it'll look. Hey, Winsor. Um, not that it'll look like Cracker Barrel-y, but I want to showcase my pictures and my family. Because as a YouTuber, let me just get on here and I'm preaching to the choir myself. You can get so caught up in the end style decor and like, you know, the Pinterest slicks and stuff like that, that you can forget to add pictures of your family into your home. And so I talked about that a lot last year and, and y'all have probably noticed I have more pictures normally not while it's bare, but normally around my house with my family because there's no point in having a house that you decorate all the time if you don't, you know, showcase off your family and stuff. So, she okay? Yeah, she's okay. I'm on. She wants attention. Are the kids not loving on her? No, they're busy playing her that I, you know, that's the biggest part. When you walk into my house, I don't want you to say, oh, snap, it smells like farting hair. I don't want you to say that. <laughs> so that's why I cover it up with a bunch of scent melts. But I don't want you to say that, and I don't want you to say, wow, it's beautiful in here. I want you to walk in here and see, like, oh, man, this girl, like, she's obsessed with her family. Like, she loves her family. So that's why we're building shelves. Not to clutter it up with a bunch of greenery and decor. I'll probably put some greenery on there, maybe. I don't know. Maybe a little bit, you know, but not like to have the Hobby Lobby decor where we have a sign that says welcome and then a sign down here that says uh, blessed and then another sign up here that says faith, you know, live, laugh, love kind of thing. Like, I just want it to showcase. It's going to be the showstopper that you walk in here and you say, oh, man, this girl likes to decorate, but man, this girl loves her family. That's what I'm going for. So, hello, Barbara. So, what or Jacobian? If it's what, it'll go along, I don't know what's happening to my voice there. It'll go along with my winter trim right here. See this right here? That big old white pretty trim that Shane did. He did such a good job on it. It'll go along with it. And it's going to be very close to the window, but not all the way touching the window. So it's going to be like an inch, like that far, between it, the window, and the wall. So do I do it Jacobian and it play off that mantle, or do I do it what? and have it play off that trim. I'm afraid if I do it white, it'll come off, mm, I don't wanna say loony Benny, but like, it'll come off very sterile. Does that make sense? Y'all are saying white, and I'm just now telling y'all why I don't wanna do it white, cause it'll come off sterile. Do you think it would come off sterile if I did it white? Like, does it look like I change, you know, like, I don't know. Does it look like I should put hospital corners on my couch when I put my blind throw leggings on there if I do white? Can you get too far with the white? I know I have gotten too far with white before, but I've also gotten too far with Jacobian before. So, I'm saying Jacobian. Somebody tally these up. <laughs> Somebody tally these Okay, let me also say this is not going to be the only thing that's Jacobian in here once this makeover is done. Because like I said, the main 
theme we're running with with this makeover it's going to be in parts and i never do makeovers in parts i hate watching videos in parts like just give it to me straight the first time i don't need to see part one two three four five six seven eight but because of our schedule you guys know we're going out of town in a little while because of our schedule and the budget i'm having to do it in parts Having, i hate how i say having I'm having to do it in parts so you guys are going to see one half of the room in part one and then the other half of the room in part two. You guys will understand why I'm doing it that way when you see the videos because part two is massive. And I'm, I'm a little bit scared to start that. But can I not do both colors? Well, I mean, you got my eclectic mind to reeling. We could do a pattern. Hold on. I'm trying to visualize it. We could do like Jacko Bean White, Jacko Bean White, Jacko Bean. I was going to only do three of them though. So I'd be like, I don't know. Would it look kind of like checkers? Or pinstripes? I, I never got mad at a pinstripe. Uh, those kind of stripes, what is it, vertical stripes make, make you look thin. I'm all about the vertical stripes. Hmm, no pattern. Okay. Match your black wall. Ooh, I could do black. But then again, my countertops are black, which those are changing. I told you guys I only did that temporarily. Whenever you're on a budget and you budget it out, like you got to build on top of stuff. And that's why you'll see me like go around and kind of build on top of things I've already done. Because I can't afford to do it really expensive the first time. I, <laughs> I'm trying to put my kids in college, y'all. I ain't got no money to go out here and spend $800 for Butcher Block countertops. So I just throw some, I don't know, one by fours on them suckers and call it done. <laughs> so I try to build off of stuff. So if I do the black, it would be a lot right now considering I have the black countertops. But then I have to remind myself it's not always going to be the black countertops that I'll be getting other countertops once I green. Like lime green, like those hearts. White well, will look Ikea. See, that's, are we going for Ikea? Wait, what are we talking about? Why not? <laughs> We're not going to Ikea. I ain't getting nothing from Ikea. <laughs> okay. Unless you want to play dominoes. So this is my dilemma. Listen, okay. White, sterile, hospital corners, clean, crisp. I see it, okay? And it goes beautiful with that. And it kind of gives that contrast I like with the beans right here. I All see right. that. So I think they're on to something. But that picture, Jacob Bean. Jacob Bean plays off of the other Jacob Bean thing. Oh, Jacobian, sorry, my bad. Jacobian. Jacobian plays off of the mantle, but the other DIY we're doing in here has Jacobian too. So would that be too much Jacobian? I don't know why, just courtesy or curtsy. <laughs> courtesy. Well, this is how I see it. You got your white window frame. Right. Your this white is, y'all get in, uh, in the background. This is. Behind the scenes of what normally looks like when we're doing makeup. BTS. Behind the scenes. That's also a pop band that the kids really like. Uh, 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 stay oh no, we're not no, singing "Stay Alive." <laughs> but anyway, there's white. You got white trim, white baseboard, so the white shelves might look good with it. I'm just. Saying. But is that too much white? And if we go with the Jacobian, the good thing about it is we can paint over it. We can't stain over paint, so we're just up the creek. Without if a boat. We paint it. And then I'm like, ooh, snap, that would look good brown. I'm either going to have to, A, paint it brown with fake green. And let's be honest, that never turns out right. <laughs> never turns out right. It did one time on my countertops, and that's about it. But I don't know. Okay, this is what I'm saying. Maybe. And I don't, see, I thought I'd come on here and get y'all's opinion and just give y'all a look into the hey, behind maybe. the scenes. But I can't tally up all these answers. Maybe stain the 1100 it. answers. Maybe it. stain it first because if you don't like it, you can always paint over the stain. Did I not just say that? And you're coming at me, I'm like, it's your idea. It is my idea. <laughs> I said it like I wasn't in here two when whole you said minutes it. ago. I wasn't in here when you said it. You were right here. Was he not right here I don't when think I said I was. it? You just weren't listening. I was here. Selective here. hearing. You were here, but you weren't here. <laughs> okay. Can I get started? Yet? Yeah. What are you waiting on? You. I don't know what we're doing. You're going to build the shelves. I don't ever have a hand in that. Well, I, I mean, just tell no, you what I want and you make it happen. How high up you want the first one? 
Oh, okay. This is a question for y'all. Y'all can help me. Do a poll after. Man, I could have done a whole poll and y'all wouldn't have had to come on here and seen this hot mess of express of a video. Um, I don't even know if I'm leaving this on my channel after I post this one. <laughs> she will. Um, about right there. <laughs> you want to like, I don't know, maybe dip your hand in some chocolate that way I can, get, I can have the handprint up there. <laughs> I was kidding. I was kidding. No. 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 You said No. It. No. <coughs> then you got to paint the wall. No, I don't. I can wash it off. What are you getting? Pop it or top it. No, please don't. I'm not cleaning that. I don't have chocolate, I have caramel. Yeah, it's good. No, no, I'm serious. We'll just mark it with my, I'll mark it with my, uh, thing here. Do you have, what? Just mark it with my knife. Do you have a pen? No, I got a knife, and I'll just put a little mark there. <laughs> put it away. Well, get on with it, or I'm gonna go ahead and put it on it. So, right here. This sucker's thick, anyway. Baby. I don't even think it's out. Baby, selective hearing. What? Right here. No, that's too high. Too high. Are you cutting up the wall? No, I, I haven't even, no. What do y'all think? He's like, put the caramel sauce down. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Step away from the caramel. Caramel. You had me say caramel. Dang it. Uh-huh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, come down a little bit. He needs to come down, right? You need to come down. Come down a little bit. I think that's appropriate. Is that appropriate? Amount of space. Is that appropriate? I think that's appropriate amount of space. Did you put a hole in it? What if I change my mind? That's why you need a pen or caramel. I've got a pen. I've, I've got, got a an pineapple. Apple. Pineapple oh, pen. Pineapple pen. <laughs> okay, so then, wait, 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 wait. We need I'm to come going up. to go get my level. Okay. But we need to come up with how far apart they're going to be. You can come up with that while I'm working on the first one. What, what size are we thinking? That's too high. Okay, that's too high, they said. You, did you tell them that it's three shelves? Yeah, it, okay, so it is three. <coughs> it is three shelves. So, they have to be either close, thumbs up, y'all. It's free. Oh, I love y'all. Y'all ain't got to give me a thumbs up. Y'all just being here is enough. I, you got to remember, I come from the time where I didn't have nobody to talk to. Nobody used to hear and listen to me go on like this. Y'all being in here is enough. Shane's the only one that did it, and he's half crazy now, so that's probably why. Okay. I'm thinking we do it this far apart. However many inches or centimeters that is. Okay, step away from the wood. Get away from it's still falling. Seriously, get away from the wood. <laughs> it's still falling. <sighs> okay. Tears don't fall. And crash around, and crash around me. Right. It's conscious calls. Guilty to come home. That's the emo in us. <laughs> Bullet for my Valentine Day. Bullet Those days were wild. Okay. Wild. Remember, we're doing an inch from the window and an inch from yeah. the wall. So. From the window to the walls. <laughs> All right. So you want That was the perfect opportunity for that. I love it. You want it about that far from the wall there? Is that an inch? Yeah. That looks like a centimeter to me. That is not a centimeter. Well, from this angle, it looks like a centimeter. It's not. Is that about how far you want it though, an inch? Oh yeah, that's good. Okay, that's so good. this. Just no. Bit. This is the inside. This isn't the. Is shell. the inside going to be bigger than the outside? The inside will be littler than the big outside. Okay. Outside fits down on it. Hold on, let me ask him if that's an inch. Does this look like an inch? Oh, I just went to traveling. He went on vacation without me. Probably went to Bora Bora. Does that look like an inch to y'all? One foot to 16 inches. Hello from Oklahoma City. Hi, Debbie. Hi, hi, Darina. Is your name Darina? My name's Marina. It kind of rhymes. Technically, that's an inch. Okay, so uh, that don't look like an inch. I can fit my whole finger in there. Uh -huh. Do you know what an inch is? Yeah, it's between your knuckle and your. Uh -huh. Okay, that's yeah, that's an further. inch. All right, it might be an inch. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. 
Are you doing an inch from the window too, right? Uh huh. Ain't y'all glad we speed up the actual videos? Cause y'all don't see. Y'all are saying no and yes. Y'all are as indecisive as I am. Hold on, mine. She's indecisive. <laughs> she can't decide. <laughs> from left to right. Shawty is a eeny meeny miny mo lover. Shawty is a mini mini miny. I'm not ignoring y'all. My mind's reeling right now. <coughs> when it's on a roll, I can't stop it because they'll be like, you know, yeet yeet skirt. Let me tell you what you're missing. Yeet yeet skirt. Mm -hmm. Fair skirt. Dog is. Hold up. Drop that. Okay. I'm seeing, I think that one commenter was right. One of y'all were right. They need to be a little bit further apart than what I intention okay, them fine. to be. Well, I'm just working on the first one first. Oh, uh, I know you're doing that, but I'm doing this. Okay. Um. You that far? misplaced all my stuff. My phone's a dime. That far? Um, okay, remember your curtains can't touch the shelves. It looks weird. Well, I haven't really had curtains in a while. I don't think we're going to have curtains, are we? Only because... Curtains on a mobile home wall. Let me let me go over that real quick. They always get pulled down by my dogs. Um, or they always get pulled down by me. I sit on one and then there it goes. And there's a big old hole. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. I didn't do nothing with your wood. See it up there? There's a bunch of holes in the wall. That's what curtains, not in a mobile home, but in my mobile home due to my walls. So I've had it just basic and bare with the blinds the faux wood blinds and the wood trim and honestly it makes it feel cleaner in here and i can't i can't explain it i don't know why maybe because it lets more light in and it's just like that clean you know ikea look when y'all ikea look when y'all said might be what it is what about your sofa you don't want to bump your was that say you bump my head because i had something i did not think about did i say picture frames are you reading my mind? I don't remember saying picture frames. Are we telekinesis in right now? I do not remember saying, did I say picture frames? Somebody asked how big the picture frames are gonna be. Oh, how big the picture frames on the shelves are gonna be. Oh, snap, I just gave it away, okay. Um, we're doing another project and I thought you were reading my mind about it. <laughs> but there, I actually have them. Hold on. Hey, we found my phone charger. Phone charger. What'd you do with it? Um, to the left, to the left. I don't know. <laughs> Five the by sevens. Might be off to the by left. the way, the charger might be off to the left in my closet. It might be under my stuff if I bought it. Please don't touch. Keep talking them them stuff signs. Could you walk and talk at the same time? <coughs> it's my name. It's on that bag. Let me call you a cab. Five by sevens. I got four of those. You can get these at Walmart for super cheap, by the way. I found right, those there. They have power. They kind of look like shadow boxes a little bit. See how like it's clear on the front and you have that little bitty rim? Got those. And eight by tens. And I got four of those because I want to showcase each of my kids off. And put like one in each frame. So, I got those. And then... I might do that where I might do the girl share a frame and do a family photo because I got some really pretty pictures. I don't know where they went. Where are those pictures I, I got are where they go where they go at? <laughs> like, uh, I think they're sitting over there somewhere. Are they? Man, words are so hard. I don't I don't know why they're so hard. That's probably why I got held in transition when I was a kid. I never got to go first grade with my friends. Um Yo, Christine, they are not going to paint the wall white. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 I'm not. Um, but you're on some, yo, Christine. Um, because, like I said, it's going in two parts. It'll be interesting. I'm excited about it because it's going to not only make the house look pretty, but it's going to benefit us. And 2023 is all about benefiting us when it comes to storage, space, um, you know, decorating intentionally. That's what I've been thinking with these mobile home updates videos in 2023. Decorating intentionally. It, does it look beautiful? Yeah, girl. Is it functional? If I say, uh, then I'm like, no, I scratched that plan. It's not what I want. Um, you know, 
The year of contentment. Yes, the year of contentment. It doesn't have to always look fancy. It doesn't have to be like over the moon. It doesn't have to knock people's socks off. If it upgrades your home on a functional level, that's what we're about this year. That's what we're about. Because so many things I've done hasn't done that. It's been there for a while. I was doing makeovers based off of what it would look like versus how it would be functional. That's how I ended up with the open pantry. And while the open pantry, I love it. It's not going anywhere. It's one of my favorite things in the home. I could have went about that a totally different route and added more space into the kitchen for food storage if I had done it the right way. Oh boy, that snow's coming down. But my, it is snowing outside. But that that wasn't my mindset back then, and I wish it would, had have been. Is it? Hey, North Carolina. Uh, but it wasn't. So, like I said, that's not going anywhere. I love it. Shane did such a good job on that. We did it out of a bookcase. Super affordable way to add an uh, open pantry to your house. But if I were to do it now, it would be an actual small, on the small, because I didn't have a lot of space, walk-in pantry so that I could have more hidden storage for the food. Food, Because nobody likes a bag of taters just out there on your open pantry, and that's usually where mine end up. What was that gold? Ten dollars. Forty-nine. What? What does that mean? Anna, what did you do? Um, hold on. Wait, let me find. Wait, can I click one? Linda, what did you do? No, 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 no. My super chats are on. I got a notification from YouTube about that. Excuse me. Um, y'all just being here's no, no, um, y'all just being here's enough. Linda, no. Um, Shane, can you go on your phone and turn the super chats off? I'm They're not breaking my heart. I'm not over connected here. to your thing. Where's my iPad? Uh, I don't know yet. Hold on. Y'all are breaking my heart. I don't. I, I just want you to. Be, I just want you to be here. Thank you, guys. But I just want you to be here. Um, I, I love people too, Sheila. I do. I love you guys so much. Don't film that. Ne that's not necessary, though. I promise. I, like, I cannot love you enough for just being here. What are you doing? Finding studs. I don't know where my iPad is. I mean, other than looking in the mirror. YouTube. Uh, did this thing where they sent out if you're not a YouTuber it'll sound like confusion to you but Lisa mm -mm. have y'all considered wallpaper yes no. YouTube Lisa please you're just you're my friend friends don't just send friends money hey Mimi Thank, thank you so much, but I don't want to say I don't want to go into it because then y'all are going to start doing that And I want you guys just to be here. Just chat with me because I love you guys. Okay, let's not cry right now <laughs> But you if it if you're not a youtuber, it's going to sound like a foreign language right now, but on the YouTube studios app they released a thing that um, It's like a it's a tab on there. So there's a bunch of different tabs, right? And they released a tab that says monetize or monetization on it <clears throat> And starting in February, you're probably going to see a lot more shorts from your favorite YouTubers. And that's because they now, in February, starting in February, they can get paid for them. They can get paid for shorts. So, you're probably going to see a lot more of your favorite YouTubers doing shorts because they'll get, uh, it's another line of income tied into their AdSense income. Well, on that tab, you had to, like, accept a terms of service and all that stuff, like, um, accept monetization for adsense for the shorts sorry okay. for the shorts um you had to turn on or they gave you the option to you didn't have to they gave you the option to turn on super chats and i was just going through there and clicking it and i saw it and i remember i clicked it and we were in the car at burger king so i had a whopper in my hand <laughs> so i was like i'll have to read more up on that because i and one of my friends told me what mm -mm, um, Angie, and was that a hippo? What is that supposed to? I love it. Wait, Luana, I love you. Please don't do that again because <laughs> I love you. And Marcia, I love you. Please don't do that again. Just cause I, I love you, love you, love you, love you. Just, just for being here. Like the fact that you're just hanging out with me, that is priceless. Like that's, can't even, can't even. Um, I y'all gotta remember Linda. I love you. 
Wait, Linda. Y'all, that's grocery money for you guys. Have y'all seen the price of groceries? Really expensive right now. So, please don't do that. If you, if you love me, go buy yourself some groceries. Go stock up on some things that you need. Because I want you to be around for a long time. And I want you to take care of yourself. You guys being here, I, I get help through at revenue. YouTube's kind of like a job now. I don't see it as a job. I think you can either see it as a job or just um, it be a hobby that brings a line of income to you. And YouTube has started out as a hobby for me and it will always be a hobby. Won't ever rely on YouTube to take care of me. And that's a good thing because while it does so much and it's setting my kids up for so much in their future, y'all, I, I get to go introduce Shane to his family because of you guys. Like I was going to talk to you guys about that in a video because I'm videoing going up there. I'm not going to video any of the intimate moments, but I'm going to video going up there because of you guys like that's that's how i get to take him up there for his birthday so i get a revenue and it is more than enough that's why i don't do sponsors I, there's no need to do sponsors there's no need to do brand deals or anything because uh i it that i'm content 2023 is the year of contentment so please if you want to do something for me just love on yourself go get your nails done go can y'all hear me? <laughs> Angie, can you hear me? <laughs> I love you. Um, <coughs> <clears throat> okay. Um, Darina, listen. Listen, I want... Did you find it? Can you get on there? Um, I want uh, you guys to go do stuff for your family. Like... Oh my gosh, that $49.99, that's groceries for a week for one person now. Like, that's, that's no, that's big right now. People are struggling to eat right now. And I have the privilege, and it's a, it really is a privilege to get on here and to speak Jesus over people. But I also have this kind of privilege of redoing my home. I am not taking anything else from you guys. That's, no, no, I, People are struggling to eat, and I am able to do stuff like this. And I, 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 that makes it sound like I don't help people. I, I do, but that's between me and God. But I have left over from my tithing that I do. I tithe a lot different than normal people. But the tithing that I do and stuff, I have stuff left over to do this and make sure my family's cared for. That, um, that go take care of your family. Go take care of you because I love you, and I want you to be around for a while please for me for me I, I really do I really do want y'all to take there's you know the future is unknown and there's a lot going down in the world right now so please just take care of you and your family I love you guys um uh y'all don't make me laugh <laughs> I'm trying not to squall right now y'all have um maybe at least one train of thought Shane's on the iPad trying to figure it out. Um, I don't know. I don't even know what we're talking about. Let me show y'all the project I told y'all we were going to be working on. I want to showcase my family more. So I found these at the Hobby Lobby. And we're going to spruce them up. So it's not just like the black wire frame. We're just going to spruce them up. I thought my neighbor was walking in my house for a second. <laughs> right. um, so that we're going to just make it look more aesthetic, I guess you could say. I guess, maybe. Um, uh, let's see here. I'm, I'm getting caught up because I didn't realize I was so far behind. I love you guys too. I love you guys so much. <clears throat> I love this station. Jesus is in it. Listen, I ain't gonna be nowhere if Jesus ain't allowed. <laughs> there ain't no way. I, I told him a long time ago, if I'm going, you're coming with me. And anywhere that stops you, they stop me too. I'm not doing that. So he has to be in it. He has to be in it because I'm in it and he's in me. Amen. Man. This was originally, you did. This was originally in the corner, 
Um, because I was going to do a built-in wall around it, sort of like the open pantry here. Am I under our shade or am I just showing y'all the woolies? Uh, mammoths. Under the woolies. Here. The woolly mammoths. <laughs> Cammy, what you doing? Huh? Where's she going? I don't know. Um, I was originally going to do that, but then I thought two built-in they got me emotional. Two built-in bookcases. Emotional. I need a hockey Hold on. <coughs> I apologize. Um, two built-in bookshelves would be too much. It kind of looked, my house would kind of be abstract. A little bit. And it already is already. Lily. I, I, see, I can find you on Instagram. I, I can talk to you after this. Um, Debbie, I, I love you. Uh, I don't want to come. I don't want to. I'm trying. I'm addressing them because I don't want to come off rude to them, but I'm asking you, like, it's okay. Promise. Girl, go get you some cool stuff. Hobby Lobby's 50% off right now, wall decor. Well, they were yesterday, or day for yesterday. 50% off wall decor. So if you're looking for something, that's where you can find it right now. It's Hobby Lobby 50% off of wall decor. And I don't think these were 50% off. But if you want to have a cool way, to showcase off your family and stuff. I'm going to show y'all in the upcoming video how we're going to do it. And you might find it inspiring. And, and whenever these go on sale, you guys go pick you up one. Originally, they're $14.99. So, if they do the 40% off. Oh, that's math. Uh, it's going to be around $8. $8-ish. $8 so, that would be a good deal for this. I mean, this is long. This is 11 by 36. And you can't get that size of picture. You got you some waters and lunch, well, Cammy. <laughs> yeah, he came to me and said, I'm feeling a snack. <laughs> Is he that, are you going to eat in there? I can only ask him if you want to eat at the table. He can so eat in here with us and chill. Uh, we had. <laughs> uh, you can't find this print at Walgreens, so I'm going to have to get creative with the print. I picked my prints out very. Uh, intentionally that's a word i'm on today intentionally so that i could narrow them down a little bit and danielle i love you um i i know i know how easy it is to give you know want to give to people and stuff on here i don't know how to address that y'all are making me i don't know how to address it I don't, either way i feel like i come off a certain way and i don't ever want to come off that way if I dress it, I feel like people are going to see that as a sign to continue to do it. And if I don't address it, I'm going to look really rude. I don't know how to address that, y'all. Um, let's see. Hey from Kentucky. Um, it is, it is because of you. Wait a minute. It's because of you finally brave enough to start my own channel. Something I had dreamed about for years. Uniquely, Lisa, like, do it. Do it wholeheartedly. Do it and have fun with it. Have fun with it. Don't get caught up in the numbers. Don't get caught up in, in the views or nothing like that. Have fun with it and people are going to see you having fun with it. And that's what's going to make them want to come to your channel. Because they're going to see you're having fun with it. And they're going to be like, oh, this girl's actually having fun. She's not just in it and, it's, and it feels like a chore to her. Some channels, it start out for a business. And that's okay. Um, my P.O. Box is fearfully created 1170 Danridge, Tennessee 37725. Um, fearfully created P.O. Box 1170 Danridge, Tennessee 37725. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm still getting back to Christmas cards. I, I've been enjoying. We sit down in the evenings and just open those. And even though it's past Christmas, it still puts me in the Christmas spirit. But some people start off YouTube as a career. So don't ever hate on anybody who, who feels like it's a career-driven kind of thing for them. Because a lot of people start out that way. That's what they did it for. And that's okay. If you're, I'm not going to get mad at it. Anybody that is trying to benefit their family and trying to increase their income in this day and age, you do what you got to do as long as it's legal. <laughs> you do what you got to do. And, and I'm not going to get mad at anybody. I'm going to support you regardless if you're in it for a hobby or in it for a career. Either way, in it to win. I think we should support these people. Because right now, people got to stick together. People got to help people. And it doesn't really, you know, matter. Unless they're being untruthful and un, un, dishonest. Undishonest. <coughs> undishonest. Undishonest. 
Um, unless they're being dishonest, like I, I absolutely will support them. Yeah, people, there's people out there who who are struggling to make ends meet. Fathers who have a family and stay-at-home moms are at home and, and they're scraping so they can be at home and take care of their kids. I'm not going to judge you for coming on here and wanting to start a career. Absolutely not. I think that's, I think it's amazing that YouTube can provide that for people. <clears throat> but if you want to do it for a hobby, just have fun with it. If you're wanting to do it for a career, there are plenty of places on the internet where you can go and you can uh, learn the algorithm. I can't really help you with that because I know nothing about the algorithm. Uh, nothing at all. Like, I, none. <laughs> so, if you want to learn about the algorithm and to get your videos pushed out there, there's a lot of people on YouTube that teach you how to do that. So, have fun with it and, you know, pray about it. Pray about it over everything. Pray about it. If, you're, if you pray. And if you don't, I'll pray about it for you. <laughs> okay, what are you doing? I am cutting up some trim. Cutting up some trim? Yep. Anna, you are my number one. I watch you all day, every day. Thank you, Anna. I, I was talking to another YouTuber earlier. I was telling them, like, I don't get why so many people watch me because it feels like they were, they were wanting to do more videos, but they were afraid their life was boring. And I was like, I can guarantee you what is boring to you isn't boring to everybody else because I'm a prime example of that. I feel like my life is boring all the time. Can't so, be with me in it. Well, um, when you're home, it's not boring. <laughs> <laughs> but you can get lost in the mono monotony of everyday stuff, and, and I, can, I can do that too. But it helps whenever I have you guys, because while you guys say I motivate you, y'all motivate me. Let me show you all this wood. We got two sets of wood, and we got to take stuff back. Look at all that wood, though. That's kind of odd. Oh, check out these lots here. Huh. What's five? Uh, the... I got these for fake can lots, like recessed lots, and they don't put off a whole lot of lots, so I don't know if I'm going to put them up or not. But they're like touch closet lights. And I want can lights, but I talked to a few people because I don't want Shane to get electrocuted and go home to be Jesus with Jesus. So I talked to a few people and were like, can you put them in there? And they said, without you having attic space, it's going to be really, really difficult. So my bubble was popped and I went to Lowe's and I was like, huh, what are we going to do about this? And it I got batteries in it. They take C batteries, so I'd be spending uh, my weekly allowance on C batteries if I put these up here. But they don't. If they let off more light, I might actually do it and just put my weekly allowance towards C batteries. But Shane, if your butt crack shows in this video, baby, I cannot edit it out. Just let me know. <laughs> just let me know. Um, it doesn't show off a lot. So if it did, I would probably put them up there. But it it doesn't show off a lot. So. When I get to talking, hey, Linda, Linda, thank, thanks for being you. Thank you for being you. <clears throat> thank y'all for being kind people and for putting up with me because Lord knows not many people can do it. I am not for everybody. I am not everybody's cup of sweet tea. You my cup. I'm actually quite terrible. bitter to some people. <laughs> they kind of like spit me out. <laughs> <coughs> that must be medicine tea for them. I'm like, <laughs> That stuff is nasty, the honey stuff. Oh, gosh. Explain the... to us, Shane, what you're doing. Because they can't really see you that well. How is your health now? Massive good luck to Shane meeting his family. Um, who, Shane's health or my health? <clears throat> my health. Oh, did y'all see the band-aid? <laughs> my health. Uh, I just went to get lab work. One of my kiddos is having some stuff going on right now. And a lot of it has to do with my genetics I am making pot holes by the way making you asked what holes. I was doing yeah so oh, this you already not that area. yeah so this right here <coughs> is going to be the anchor this is what the shadow boxes will rest on okay uh, because the shadow boxes are little and they're so thin that'll be sufficient enough to hold them up okay if they were if they were heavier like the girls, then I would have to put. Yeah, these are not going to be like the girls' uh, shadow boxes. My health is doing really good. I got this because we're having some issues with genetic stuff, and you know, 
health that's being passed down and stuff. It's really scary stuff. So we're dealing with that. But overall, mine is doing pretty good. I'm not taking Ozempic anymore because that stuff, uh, it made me feel like I needed an exorcism. If I'm being <laughs> honest, that was bad. Like, <laughs> oh, was real bad. Um, so now I just got my handy dandy tapeworm that I ordered. <laughs> So I'm gonna name it though because of this conversation I'm gonna name what I bought. You talk just like me. Fast you must have some Irish in you. My mamma was Irish. I that was one thing I have done my whole life. I used to have wait, let me finish what I was talking about before. Um what was I talking about before? Help. My help? Oh, Ozempic. I was taking Ozempic, but now I'm, I just went and bought a tapeworm. Not really a tapeworm, <laughs> but I went and bought uh, something that I'm going to name a tapeworm to help me out. And it'll help me get more physical, more active and stuff. Irish. <laughs> I have to go through my subjects like that. I do talk a lot, and I talk fast. And I don't mean to. I actually had a really big speech impediment when I was little. And so this is an improvement. <laughs> it's a very big improvement. I used to like, my teachers would like say Marina, like calm down and speak. Whoa, hey. Oh. These right here. What is going on? Huh. My daughter has cystic fibrosis. Can you say hi to her? Yasmina, Mina, Mina, hi girl, what you doing? What you doing? How's your mom? How's your family? <laughs> um, scammer, hammer. Let's try to rhyme words with that. Scammer, hammer, famer, lammer, jammer. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I have a little bit of Irish in me, but my speech comes from an impediment uh, that I had. But I don't, I, I guess, do I have it? I don't know. Do I have it anymore? I don't know. I guess I can't tell uh, what if I have it or not. But I used to have it, and I used to have it really bad, so bad that you couldn't like understand me. So you probably still can't understand me now. So probably, <laughs> probably still have it. Um, but yeah, my mamma was Irish, and she was Irish through and through. Um, we're hanging up shelves, Shannon. We're doing like sort of, sort of like shadow shelves sort of like shadow shelves and and like they're going to be like shadow boxes so they're going to be thinner than the, in the ones in the girls room but they're going to be like it's going to be like three in a row it's going to be like three in a row you're blushing what camera do i use well i'm on right now i'm on my iphone but usually on my videos i use a canon MD. Canon EOS. That's what I use for the videos. By the way, I should be videoing some of this. Oops. Oops, she did it again. What are you doing here? Putting this in the wall. What are you doing here? Pilot holes. Oh, so that's how you're going to space them apart? No, that's just telling me where studs are. I use a Canon EOS. <sighs> Is that they fall off? Is there going to be a chance that they fall off the shelf if they're not attached to the wall? Uh, the pictures, maybe? I might can be able to put some of those command strips I might be able to put some of those in there um, and stick them to the wall that way I don't know depending on if I want them straight or not nobody is for everyone mama but we are here because we love you for you you definitely keep me sane and motivated in your videos and thank you for that thank you Jenna that that makes it worth it that makes it worth being called a hammer <laughs> Somebody called me a hammer. A hammer? Yeah. Well, that's an odd thing to call somebody. Um, I don't know if that's straight shape. It is. I've got the, uh, or I had my, um. Well, it's, it's straight. My eyes are freaking. Well, I had my thing on. 
you have it. He's got a little leveler that big right there. It works. It does. <laughs> that big. <laughs> Sand's level. Where's your big leveler at? Uh, it's in a uh, closet. You don't know, use it? I don't need it right now. Hey. You're an amazing family. I've watched you for around two years, and I love how far you have come. I have an autistic son, and you're amazing. I'm from South Wales. What? You, you tied your Nana. What? Wales? Do you need a neighbor? I would love to go to Wales. If that doesn't look straight, it don't, does it? It'll be him that has to fix it. <laughs> Kentucky is a southern, is Kentucky a southern state? Why do I feel like that's a trick question? <laughs> is, is Kentucky a southern state? No. But you have to go north to get there. North from us, but it's still Kentucky. So is it a north south. state to us and a southern state to like New York? Yeah. Both? Is it both? I'm trying hard to see if, if my package came. What package? Bless be on. Hello from Maryland. You don't want you don't want the window and the shelf to look like it's one. Robin, you took the words right out of my mouth. That's what I was afraid of. Whenever I was talking about painting white and I was I originally had it going all the way to the window. And I thought it looked like it was just attached like this weird like limb that the arm had. Or that the window had. This weird arm that the window had. So, I, I think I'm going... A few of you guys said Jacobian. So, I think I'm going to do Jacobian. And then I'm going to, if I don't like it, paint it white. Hold on. When I get to talking, I have, I have an issue. <coughs> I always had an issue when I get to talking like that. Everybody always asks me if I'm sick. I think it has something to do with my thyroid. <coughs> Thank you, Connie. Shark, baby shark, do 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 do, baby shark, do 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 do. I know that was a shark. I know it was. I know it was. I think it's still southern. I know I am southern in South Carolina. It's in the name, <laughs> South Carolina Southern. I Kentucky is Midwest, but the most southern in the Midwest. Oh. Western KY is more proper than Eastern. Is it? Sage green. Everybody's doing that sage green right now. It looks beautiful on Pinterest. Um, I'm more of a... I really like contrast. I tried doing sage there for a while. What did I paint sage, Shane? I know I made uh, a styrofoam bed frame yeah. one time and I painted it sage green. Yeah. That was one of my first videos. I made a huge styrofoam bed. And like ship lapped it with styrofoam and I painted it green. Oh, I forgot all about the that. TV stand. Yeah. I painted it. Yeah, my, my TV stand you I painted. I painted it green, uh, the sage green like two and a half years ago. Brandon was who we were calling a scammer. Brandon's a scammer? Who's Brandon? Let's call. Uh... Y'all know I just. Got... Never mind. I was gonna tell y'all about something. I'll tell y'all about it once it's over with. But it has to do something to do with the scammer. By the way, if there's something on my comments that says fearfully created Telegram, it ain't me. I don't even know how to work Telegram. I thought Telegram was something that they did in Balto, where it would be like. It'd be like, duh, 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 sick girl, and then go back. Needs medicine. Need a mush team to go get. Is that not Telegram? <laughs> I thought that's what Telegram was. I don't Maybe even, that wasn't Telegram. No. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not wrong. I don't even know what a Telegram is. So if it says fearfully created it's on Telegram and you, and you've won some sort of prize. I don't do giveaways. I would love to do giveaways, but I don't do them for that specific reason. Because, um, Jenna, I just realized who you are up there, baby doll. I just read one of your letters. Um, I, are they wanting to come in here? 
I'll check in just a minute. Oh, love on them. Um. Oh, I don't know what Telegram is, so like, I don't do, I don't do uh, the Telegram thing. I don't do giveaways. I would love to, but I can't because of people like the hammer. I don't like calling people scammer. I don't like people calling people a hammer either, though. That's what I need. Is it straight? Yes, it's straight. But that's a scam. And I've tried to talk to YouTube about it. Um, I've tried to talk to YouTube about it. Oh, man. Um, it's a political thing. Well, that's probably why. I'm, I don't yell my politics to anybody. I never have done that. There. Because I don't know enough about politics to tell anybody anything. And if I ain't teaching somebody nothing, then I don't need to say nothing at all. Okay, I'm going to need to figure out where you want the bottom one, and then we'll okay. measure to get your <coughs> middle one. That's exactly what I tell you right in here. I almost got my toe chopped off. Okay. So is this going to be the bottom of it? Can I see? No. Gonna That's going to be inside. You won't see that. Okay, so where will the bottom be? Bottom will be like literally right there. Okay, so. Right here, maybe? Uh, maybe. I need the bottom, not the middle. I know, I'm getting the middle. That's what you do. You take the medium and the long, and you get the medium. So you you take the medium and the long, and that's how you. I did get that the in medium. math. They would ask you what the median number was, and you would take the big and the little one and make the median. I love you. All right, I love you too. I do smell like a, a firecracker for some reason right now. Firecracker? Yes. <laughs> firecracker. Yeah, I smell like one that I just that somebody just lit off. Like um, like a like a bottle rocket. Yeah. <laughs> you smell like a bottle rocket. A cherry bomb. <laughs> okay. See, if we do it here, it's going to be too low. I, I agree. That's a little bit too low. So maybe about right mid-section. But then you're not going to have a lot of room. Uh-oh. Huh? To put the other one. It would be like right there. Okay, yeah. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. That's all right. I mean, here, let me see the picture again. That's the biggest one. So, like, this is sitting here. So you got another one, you know, about right in there. So as long as you're cool with that, about that much space in between the top, the bottom of that and top of the picture. Oh yeah, that should be fine. Okay. That looks good, by the way. It's just a piece of wood up there, but you did a good job. Thank you. I, I was thinking about just leaving it. <clears throat> we could hang, we could hang a uh, rope from it and hang pictures that way. Ain't nobody done that on YouTube yet. Well, now they will. Dang it! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't believe in people copying people. I think you should post to give people inspiration, and when they do what you did, you should consider it an honor. How close <clears throat> is your teeth envelope now? <laughs> well, do y'all want to go in there right now? <laughs> um, I I just paid eight thousand dollars for a smile, <laughs> but that didn't come out of my teeth envelope. Now I have to give Colton braces, <laughs> so. I might just be rocking the George Washington wooden teeth for a while. <laughs> I look like a founding father when I wear my hair in a low ponytail anyway. <laughs> might as well run with the it. The founding father, really? No, I have to buy Colton braces. And I, I was going to have it wait, but I remember my childhood, and I, I want to go ahead and get done. I want to just go ahead and get done. Um... What? Teeth are stupid expensive. Trust me, I think they are. They are. And shame. See, my teeth look bad, but they don't feel bad. Because I'm pretty sure every nerve in my head is dead. 
but like they don't they don't feel bad shane we had to dip into that for his because his teeth were hurting him so bad and he's he never went to the dentist never he's never been to the dentist except for when he just went to get his teeth fixed so like it was um are we gonna get mine fixed which are okay when one hurts me i just go to the dentist and i'm like pull it like you know pull it whatever i already got i ain't got oh, no baby. teeth back here no is it you weren't a baby you took that pain like a champ because he had like an exposed nerve and mm, nope i said no shane we're just gonna go ahead i'm not in any pain i'm not i'm not i'm gonna let him skip the line braces can be paid for monthly see i hate doing things on a payment plan like that because i guess it's the uh 2019 marina in me but i'm always afraid like what if i can't pay it you know like what if i what if something happens and, uh, you know, I go negative in my bank because I try to take it out? Like, that's not a mindset I have now. Like, that's not something that would happen now. But in 2017, 2018, that would have happened. And I guess it's sort of a phobia. <clears throat> hey, don't. It's okay if they're being rude to me. Don't worry about it. Love them. Love them the same. Love them the same. Um... I don't, I don't respond to hate with hate or rudeness to rudeness. I get a lot of questions about, like, people being rude to me on the internet everywhere. Shoot. Listen, it sounds weird, and I've told other YouTubers this, and they have been like, Marina. But I, I respect the ones who leave it off my channel. There's, like, whole areas on the internet where they go to and talk, and I have a sort of sense of respect for them, and I don't go, I don't ever go bother them, don't ever... You know, don't even ever darken their door because I don't bring it to them because they don't bring it to me. And I actually find that, you know, a good thing. So, I don't respond to hate a lot of times unless there is something I want to say. I don't ever feel the need to respond to hate unless it's something I want to say or I want, or if there's a point I want to be made. And it's never to take up for myself. It's always to set it straight because I'm honest to a fault and I'm, and that's a fault to myself sometimes, <laughs> but no, I don't, don't ever, if someone's being rude, just ignore them. I used to have a moderator, and then I found out they were, I still have a moderator, my best friend's a moderator, and she never did this, but I used to have another moderator, and I found out that they were deleting comments that weren't bad, that were just criticism in a really nice way. And I didn't like that, so I stopped moderating, and I just left my comments alone, and if they want to bring it here, they bring it here. If I see it and it's bad and it's about, like, people I love, I'll delete it. But if not, I ain't worried about it. <clears throat> baby. I would love to see a day in the life of homeschool as well. I've done those before and I, I didn't have a whole lot of people that just really enjoyed them. But if y'all want to see those, I, I can do those again. It's basically the same because my homeschool routine is stuck in stone. Like, it don't, it don't budge. So we get what we need to get done, no broke, matter what. It. Yeah, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I, I don't try to fix it. It has worked for the last, I've, my kids have never walked in a school, ever. They've never even darkened the doors of a school. Unless it's like something like an extracurricular stuff, like library or um, like, you know, karate. They have like classes in the school gym and stuff like that. Unless it's for stuff like that, they don't. But as far as a classroom, they've never been to one. So for the same amount of years as they as they've been in school <laughs> i don't know why i just did that what'd you do <laughs> just try cutting you off by trying to avoid you at the same time you just try to get my but team. uh i don't have to work for that but I, it's been that same the whole time and that's how i've been able to get it see that's how i know i can stick to a routine because i've stuck to my homeschooling one so i just need to get in that mindset with other routines around my house and progress in those like that you know i love you tammy Crystal, thank you for being you. I figure somebody's being evil to me. They're having... Listen, hurt people, that's right. Hurt people, hurt people. And I would never be as bold to say I've never been a hurt person that's hurt somebody. I've hurt quite a few people. But it helped me understand. I'm not thankful that happened. I wish it never happened, ever. But it helped me, really helped me. And I think it was, in a way, prepared me. Or it was a bad thing that helped prepare me into being who I am now. And I just realized that hurt people hurt people. And they don't even realize they're hurt sometimes. And that's okay. And sometimes they'll tell you they're not hurt. And they they just want to say that stuff. 
but when we get down to it, when you get down to the core, to the baseline, hurt people, hurt people. A person who is thriving and loving life and just thanks God for life every day, they don't go around hurting people. You can't convince me somebody who loves God goes around and hurts people. And if they do, they'll be the first one to come around and go back, backtrack their steps and be like, listen, I'm sorry. And I've had to do that before. Sure, yeah, I had to do that just last week. Be like, I'm sorry. I should have said that. That was the devil. I didn't shut him up. Uh, if your kids have, my kids don't have Medicaid. <clears throat> um, they're going meet and greet, meet and greet. Howdy, howdy. Everybody saying hi. Hi, hello, howdy. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <clears throat> Shane, did you get a haircut? Oh, yeah. He Got wanted to look pretty for his family. Look at that. I love it like that. All faded with the long on top. So, yeah. Colton got one, too. Cammie yep. don't Colton get haircuts. Cammie, there's nope. reasons. We asked it. Well, that, and you asked him, he said, do you want a haircut? <coughs> he goes, nope. And so he don't long. get one. He does not get one. And then there's also reasons that that happens. It's dangerous, you know? Um... No. Bean boozle no, challenge. No, no. You know they said it. Now we have to do it. No, I ain't doing that ever. We did that once before. That I don't think that was on here. But that no, was that's whenever you got me fired from an MLM for saying the jewelry looked like a noodle. They emailed me within ten minutes and said, "I'm sorry, this is not working out." He said, "He said it looks like a craft macaroni and cheese you know, noodle." I like when you're in school and you make them the the <laughs> string necklaces with the noodles on it, the macaroni noodles. That's exactly what it looked like. And I only pointed out, hey, this looks like a macaroni necklace. And within 10 minutes, I had somebody emailing me saying this is not going to work out. <laughs> I bet this stopped selling. I didn't even know. Well, back then, you didn't know what MLMs are. And like I said, I ain't dogging nobody who does an MLM. If you support your family, hey, you support your family. If you do it honestly, I'm fine with it. But if, it had been, if I had known what I know now, I wouldn't have done it. <clears throat> but yeah, I got, I got fired. Oh, thank you. I'm pretty. Is this my color? <gasps> I got Crocs. I showed Instagram. Y'all went on Instagram and you missed it. But I went on a whole Croc spree the other day. You sound like Steve Earle. And I got Crocs to make this shirt. And I got inside Crocs and I got outside Crocs. And I'm going to like do my cleaning videos now on Crocs and stuff. And then go outside in Crocs. It's shoes and fly lady. My lady said, get dressed head to toe in shoes. She didn't specify what kind of shoes. She just said shoes. Crocs are shoes, so that's what I'm going to do. Show us the Crocs. Oh, yeah, what's in the Crocs? Oh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Show us the Okay, so this is like a size six, eight. Oh, it's a size eight in women. And this is a size 10, but I didn't care because I saw these and I was like, oh, those are my inside Crocs. I saw these and I was like, oh, those are my outside Crocs. And I can even put them in four wheel drive. When I'm on the go, I'm just like, okay, let me snap these suckers on. They turn into like Gladiator from Jesus' Day sandals. And then <laughs> here, they're modern Jesus' Day sandals. These are really Jesus' Day sandals. They're just styrofoam. But my Great Value Crocs, they had holes in the bottom. So when I went out in the snow in them, snow would soak up through the holes in the bottom of the Crocs and get my feet wet. These don't have those. I 
Y'all don't need a YouTube video because I need to be filming someone else. My underwear is showing. Sometimes my that area between my back and my butt likes to eat my shirts. And it, it sets a whole new trend for clothes. <clears throat> hey y'all, y'all are on on live right now. Y'all are on video. Say hi to yourselves. <laughs> um Sometimes that happens. I don't like wearing shoes, so I'm glad I live in the South. It's flip flops or bare. I, my feet are claustrophobic. Oh, they're claustrophobic. <laughs> Several people are asking for my address. Uh, it is Fearfully Created, P.O. Box 1170, Dandridge, Tennessee 37725. A bunch of people have been having issues, though, sending them my favorite football team. The dolphins, because I like fish. Like, I don't like to eat fish, but I like, like dolphins. They're pretty. Oh. Shane, who's your favorite? Shane does the Packers, right? Packers. Packers. I always get them mixed up and call them Perkins. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> um, you are a ray of firecracker. <laughs> no, a ray of sun. What? I smell like a firecracker right now, and I can't figure out. My hormones must be off, because the other day I was smelling, well, the other week, I was smelling like an onion ring from Sonic. And today, I was smelling like a firecracker. And I, you could say it's because I ain't showered, but that ain't true, because I, I shower way more than I used to shower two years ago, and I used to smell so good all the time. I don't know. I don't know if my body is, like, fighting me and saying, you don't really need all these showers, Marina, or what? That's just being honest. Thank you. Say say what now? Nah. Say what now? Nah. Say what now? Say what now? I did smell like an onion ring. Like a fresh onion ring from Sonic. I'm not lying. If I'm lying, I'm crying and I ain't shed a tear. Exactly what's my mind. Have you checked about Chip? Or the Medicaid for the kids? Yeah, the kids don't qualify for Medicaid. Chip, I don't know what that is. But I'll look it up. Did I miss Shane getting a haircut? Yeah. He wanted to get a haircut. Cause he I was we're, looking a little shaggy. We're going soon to meet his family for the first time. His dad's side. His dad always had really long hair though. He had beautiful hair. Just like Shane. Shane's hair and Cammy's hair is beautiful. Like I feel like it never is out of place. It's just beautiful. I am changing my diet. I, I was doing. I was still doing. I'm still doing Weight Watchers, but I've been doing Weight Watchers. I'm just trying to do better choices on Weight Watchers. I'm waiting for it. So I'm picking a carrot over a fry lately. before but I really wanted y'all's input on here I could have went to Instagram but I feel like most of y'all don't get to see me over on Instagram because you don't have an Instagram and then you miss out on it so I want to include you guys because usually the people from Instagram are over here not vice versa so I want to make sure y'all were included so when you watch the video you're like I had a say in that <clears throat> we need to fill in the holes we need to fix that side of the wall too at some point yeah we'll get to that soon I agree with you there. I cut hair, owned my own hair salon, and my poor husband has to beg me to do it. <laughs> I guess because you do it, you did it so much, you just don't want to do it anymore. On that. 
Cammy, yeah, Cammy's an exception to the, the Medicaid and stuff. The, well, not Medicaid. He has, like, his own thing. Without divulging too much information. I hope that wasn't too much information. Like, I don't want to tell you his medical plan. I'm, I'm really, really strict on myself about not telling people his medical condition. Because that's his prerogative? Why did I just quote Prince? That's my prerogative. <clears throat> merch. We need merch. I said I wasn't going to do merch. Like, when I had 2,000 subscribers, I think. Maybe not even that. I said I wouldn't do merch. And though a lot of people have asked me, I don't want to go back on what I said. Because I feel like, I don't know. I know that my audience is a lot different now than it was back whenever I was getting, like, I don't even know how many people were watching back then. Not a whole lot. But... I still don't want to go back on what I said. I'm just kind of in your way now, ain't I? I'm going to have to go out here soon because i got to help Shane. Is he working on laundry room? No, we're working on the living room because we're not going to have a lot of time to de uh, devote to the laundry room. So what we're doing is we're going to leave that until we get back from our trip and kind of get the house back in order and stuff like that. And then we're going to... Can I sing? I don't sing very good. I, I can holler. I'm a, that's a Pentecostal on me. We don't sing, we holler. <clears throat> Jacobian. You think Jacobian look good there? A thousand locks. Huh? Whoa! What is that beside? Shane. What is it? I can't see it. My eyes ain't or the stats up there. I didn't even. <clears throat> hey, what's half of 34? Why are you doing that to me on camera? <laughs> Why did you do that? 26. Uh, or no, not 26. No. 16, I mean. Yeah. Is that right? 16? Yeah. I was just wanting you to. Figure 16 it out. is half of 30. Yeah. Um, 17. 17. Oh, 34. Yeah, duh. 17. That's, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. He's about to mess it up, wasn't he? Thank yeah. God for y'all. <laughs> See, it's a good thing y'all are here. See, I'm, I'm tired. That P.O. is not working. P.O. Box 1170. 1170. Hey, Brenda. Brenda Weathers, I know you. That's a, that's a Brenda I was talking about uh, in the other video. I get a card from Brenda every, 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 every time something happens. Valentine's Day, Easter, Christmas, and I love you card. <laughs> Never watch YouTube channels. Mm. I watch Jim Rell Stewart. I watch Jim Rell Stewart. It's hard for me to watch YouTube, being a YouTuber. It's, it's a difficult situation. Um, carnivore diet. See, I eat meat, but the chicken can't taste too much like chicken, or I don't want it. Yeah, does that make sense? Like, How dare that chicken taste like chicken? Chicken, there's a, there's a point when you get to cooking it. That's why I always overcook it, because I can't do rubbery chicken. But there's a point somewhere there when you cook it where it tastes too much like chicken. And I oh, can't do it. Pentecostal like is the fish. best. I came from a long line of Pentecostals. I can't call myself Pentecostal because I don't I don't like to put a label on me. I'm just a Jesus lover. But I, I still have the same views as as well, a same of the lot of views, a lot of the same views as your average everyday Pentecostal. Um, I also have some views of the Baptists, and I also have some views of the non-denominationals, and I also have. Some views of, I'm sure, Methodists. If your view is Jesus, baby, we got the same view. We got the same view. Hey, Brandy. My comment. 
Wait, what? Chicken tastes like what? Chicken can taste like a wet dog. That's, it's like too much like chicken. Like a chicken, it just feels like you just took a chicken out your chicken coop and fried it. And I don't like it. I don't like that chicken. I like KFC chicken where it tastes fake and it's bad for you. <laughs> Do you ever listen to Jeremiah Yoakum? Jeremiah Yoakum is my go-to when I'm cleaning. If you can't see him on the TV, you can hear him in the headphones. I was just in a service with him not too long ago. When I used to go around in different churches, I used to run into him a lot. Jeremiah Yoakum, his mama is the sweetest person on the planet. The sweetest person on the planet. We are working on shadow boxes. You need my tape measure. Shelves. It's on the stool there. I'm being helpful. Just close it. I'm not being helpful. <laughs> How do you close it? The button. Almost got my finger. <laughs> <clears throat> He is doing shadow box shelves, and I came on here to get just an answer from y'all, and I ended up staying here for how long? 82 minutes. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I was just, I literally just popped on here to get an answer from y'all. But y'all get me to talking. And y'all know my math goes 9 miles a minute. When I get to talking, I can't stop. Nanny is doing good. She's got to have surgery on her knee, though, soon. So many chats. I feel like my comments always get lost in the comments. I just found it. Thanks for being you, though, if you see this. Thank you for being you. I'm sorry if I miss a lot of comments. Um, I slowed the chat down. It gives you an option, and I didn't know that. It used to go really, really fast. I slowed the chat down, but they're still coming really fast. Um, I try to see everybody I possibly can because I know it's not fun to leave a comment, and especially when you put your heart into that comment and then it doesn't get seen. I know that that's not fun. So I try to see all the ones I can. I didn't get to be in the comments of my last video like I usually am. I actually haven't been there at all. And there's there's a reason for that. Like I, I, I got preoccupied. But I'm going to go in there here soon and get in there. Because I never not go in my comments. I'm usually always in my comments within the first hour. And then I pop in at different times to try to catch a different line of traffic. Because not everybody can come on at 7. Not everybody can come on at midnight. Not everybody can come on at 10 a.m. So I try to pop in at different times so I can get to people I normally wouldn't be able to get back to that way. Because a lot of y'all put your heart and soul into a comment, and I want to I wanna see it. Shades of superstars of the makeovers, if you can't tell. I'm just here for angles. I help him every now and then. When it gets time to stain or paint, then that's going to be on me. <laughs> That's true. I can't stand the right. paint her. When your videos can't load on a road trip, so annoying. <laughs> Darina, what you doing, girl? I just saw you. I just saw you. Right here. I hope you know what a blessing you are. I hope y'all know what a blessing you are. Can you please see my comment? Started a channel inspired by you, but I can do arts and crafts on my channel. Oh, that's cool, Cassandra. There's plenty of really cool arts and channel people. Arts and channel. Arts and craft. Art, art and crafts. Good gravy, Miss Maybe. What in the world? Mm -hmm. I can't get my words right. There are plenty of really good art and craft channels. <laughs> Much like, like the communities and stuff. I don't consider myself part of the mobile home community. I don't consider myself part of any community. I'm just on my little own corner over here on YouTube. And I like it that way. Hey, Colin, tell Amherst. I, wait, I know that had to be Amherst. Mm -mm. <laughs> it was Amherst. Amherst Lowe has been with me. Gosh, she's probably there on my second video. I ain't never forgot her. There used to be a lot of people. Cindy Patterson has been with me for a really long time, too. Um, Hannah Maddox has been with me for a really long time. Cindy Kenny used to be here, and I don't know what happened to her. And I don't know what happened to Judy either, and I'm worried about them. I worry so bad when they come and they stay for a long time and they leave and I don't know if they're alive or what happened or I don't like I don't like not knowing when I see y'all all the time and then I don't see y'all. It worries me. Oh my Lance Bass from Mississippi. Lance Bass from Mississippi. I used to have the biggest crush on Lance Bass. You're the best YouTube channel. Thank you. 
There are a lot of really good ones out there. Um, I can't say I watch a whole lot of them, though. I, I don't really have time for YouTube. When you're a YouTuber, you don't you find you don't have a whole lot of time. I watch Gypsy XO for clean and motivation, and I talk to Kayla a little bit. But we're, it's better when you watch channels who you're not friends with. It, I, it's better when you do that. Me and Kayla are, are friends, but we don't talk all the time, so I really get a lot from her videos. And we're night and day. Me and Kayla are total opposites, but I get a lot from her videos. They help motivate me. Her house is way cleaner than mine, so I look at it and I'm like, man, I, I aspire to be that way. <laughs> hey! Hey, Rebecca. Love you. Shane, what anime are you watching right now? I know what you have in the Amazon cart. You have like five different bleaches in the Amazon cart. I saw that the other day. What am I watching currently? Anime. Uh, One Piece. I'm trying to get Always. caught up on the English ones. Shane needs a stud finder. He has one. He don't use it. Right here. No. <laughs> right here. <laughs> Found! <laughs> Rena, did you get the Christmas package from me, Tracy? Tracy, yes, I did. Um... I got a hole. I just went and got a P.O. box uh, grab. The P. The lady in the mailbox don't like me. <laughs> they don't like me at all. They are trying to send back my packages before I get to them. So I've been trying to get to them super fast. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, it, did, did it have your address on it, Tracy? So I can send a thank you card, or did you send through Amazon? Okay, I just wanted to show some love. It's not much, but I appreciate your channel so much. And I just want you to know I love Listen, Alexis, I believe you. I believe you when you tell me you love me. I promise. I promise. When you just tell me you love me, like, I know you wouldn't be here if you didn't love me. Because you can't put up with me if you didn't love me. I know that better than anybody. Because it took me a long time to love myself. And it took me a long time to love myself, too. Those are looking mighty good, Shane. Thank you. I'm still trying to figure out if we're standing on my painting them. I'm, I don't know. I'm so torn. I love you, Rita, and I love you, Sherry, and I love you, Rachel. Did you get the grid? Yes, I got. Oh, didn't you see that in the last video? Did you not see the griddle in the last video? The griddle and the pancake launcher. Even Shane was like, that's going to change your life. He was, Shane watches my videos back before I post them. And he was like, man, that comes in handy. And I was like, hey, yeah, it does. I, ain't, I didn't even know the pancake thing existed. I should, you, I don't think that you, you had an address for me to send a thank you card, though, too, did you? I don't think you did. I think you sent by Amazon. That launcher, I, listen, I don't even know what brand it is. Because it just came like in a thing. It didn't have a box like brand. But that thing is awesome. It's right here actually. I just washed it because I just used it again this morning. Hey neighbor. Hey missy. Hey Cheryl. What you doing girl? How you been? How's your mama? How's your family? What you been up to? How's your job? How did you, wait. I saw that griddle and went straight to Amazon. I want one yet. Yes, that griddle, nothing stuck to that sucker. And I put butter on there to give the pancakes some, you know, spice. Um. What's the best, easiest way to get started on Fly Lady Method? Download her app. Her app will send you notifications like any other app will. It'll let you know what zone you're in, what routine you're on, all that stuff.
Send Shane to my house and put some shelves up for me. Shane, you want to go to some house, somebody's house and put some shelves up? Sure, as soon as I get in with this one and my <laughs> other obligations. Your other obligations? Yeah. Do you even know what we're doing next? No. Are you excited about it? Sure. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I think I'm going to go with Stain, too. Yeah, I watch other channels. I, I mean, it's not that I just... It's not that I just watch them around. I don't like anybody else. That's not what I'm saying. I, I watch a bunch of different channels. I just don't have a lot of time to watch YouTube. Don't get twisted. Let's not make it anything it's not. <laughs> I, I do watch other channels, and I do love other YouTubers and stuff. I think I, there's a whole array of YouTubers out there who are the bomb.com. They do awesome cleaning videos. They do awesome makeovers. They do awesome, all sorts of things. I just don't have time to allot to YouTube. I really don't, y'all. I've been trying to read more, and that has taken my screen time down tremendously. Please make an Amazon wish list. There are many people that want to get you things. I know you have trouble accepting things. I, d I did before, but I put stuff on there like um, dish soap and laundry detergent and like household stuff and stuff for the kids homeschool like pencils and stuff i don't need to really do a wish list anymore because i still have stuff from like a year and a half ago like i'm still using method one of you guys sent me that's that's how it stayed over i still like i there's a fine line you ride between accepting stuff, and you're right, I do have a hard time doing that, but there's a fine line you can ride because it, there's a line between accepting stuff and taking advantage. And I don't want y'all to ever feel like I'm taking advantage of you because I would never, God knows, under God, God forbid I ever take advantage of you guys. <clears throat> can we vote on merch? Can we? You good, bro? Yeah. Any help? Fine. Can we vote on merch and override you? Oh, uh, that was then. It says now. Y'all, I would be the talk of the town if I did merch. <laughs> um. You could bail the ball. I. I don't know if I would ever wear my face on anything. I pro now. Okay, if we were talking merch that wasn't like me centered, because I I think that's very that can get very egotistical. <laughs> When you do merch and it's like me there with like my face there or something. But I would love to do merch of like the wiener dogs or like Shane awesomely created. I think that would be really cool. Or get the daggone thing done kind of thing. Yeah. Those look good. Hey. You know, you just lay them that way. Huh? Just lay them that way. Uh, can you set uh, a picture on that? Yeah, you can set a picture on <laughs> Yeah, go we'll have very much space. <laughs> Maybe like a wall shelf. Ooh! Uh. Yeah, you don't want those nasty looking pieces of wood showing though. You're right. They, they, uh, they wanted to be a little rotten on me. Rotten like not actual rotten wood, but like rotten like how I'm rotten. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're drinking water. Mm -hmm. Good. I need to check on the kids. What time is it? 4.20. Baby dolls! You okay? They're playing their little games. That's what we heard from. They're playing their video games. You gotta see some of my art here. Do Teespring and let Shane create it. Or do your sayings. It's been long since I showed them art. I would make people so mad. I really just like, oh, correct. I do too. <laughs> I do too. Um, you have some of the most polite YouTube kids. <laughs> On this one. Oh, yeah. Look. Look at this digital Christmas card changer. An amazing diner. 
It's that like cute kind of mistletoe. It's not showing up as good as it is on there. How do I manage homeschool? I don't do anything during school hours. That's why a lot of times in the winter when you see my projects, it's almost not time or not time. Don't do anything during school hours but school. That's also why my house gets out of control. Yeah, show them that one. Drawing random people. I smell like weird stuff. You don't smell weird. I literally weird. just took a shower. You don't smell weird. Somebody said mad talent. I'll do this one for update on podcast. Update on podcast. You tell me. It's a rolling. It's a rolling. It's rolling way faster than it was two months ago. <laughs> there was one of our friends' husbands uh, had oh, a yeah. birthday. Somebody emailed me and they had a birthday and they wanted Shane to draw something for their husband. So, so he they said he liked uh, Mandalorian and Punisher. So. I that was it. Shane's birthday gift to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is me trying out new. Shane did the merch and stuff. don't tell Marina. <laughs> <clears throat> did you show him that one? No. Oh, he made one of me and Lacey for Lacey's birthday. <laughs> With him and him. There he is. He didn't want to show up. <laughs> and I said, I made her a card, and I said, Slim Chance, I'd forget your birthday. Slim Shady. Yeah. Beer Slim. I always got to catch him up with my art, man. <laughs> Shane, I would purchase your art. Oh, he did it for a birthday gift from him. They tried to buy it, and I was like, he said, nope, it's a birthday gift from me to you. He likes doing it. He's also been talking to one of y'all about illustrating a book. It's like a Jesus centered thing, and we got to get the timeline right because we're chasing tails with each other, and we're basically playing phone tag, but I think he's going to do that. He's going to illustrate that book for her. But She's an author. I'm definitely going to do it. I just, uh, like you said, lining up <clears> timelines <throat> is the main thing. All right. I'm curious. How do y'all feel about merch? It's not going to affect me doing it or not. I just, I would, I'm curious to know what you feel about it. Because I have a certain feeling about it, and I don't ever, like, I don't know. I guess, I mean, the same the same way, like, if you like to show friends and you went and bought a friend's shirt. But it's hard for me to put myself in that category because I'm just a mom on here having fun. Like, <clears throat> I know I said it before, but if you do merch, add a design of the reading journal you made. It's designer level, girl, and I went to college for design, and yours is awesome. Both you and Shane are talented. Oh, man, that reading journal is the bomb. It has kept me on track so much like so much it is like made sure that i'm getting my reading in can y'all see my eyes i'm so sorry um you did not just do that out camera <laughs> my my kids are are talented they're so talented put jesus in merch oh see i don't i don't want to just give all the jesus t-shirts away because freely i've been given to freely give to them kind of thing uh, that that's see Bible studies and stuff like that I do for free. Like I have my Bible studies I do, but I do them for free. <clears throat> I don't ever want to put a dollar sign on Jesus. There's plenty of people who do, and I'm not saying that's wrong. I just I wouldn't feel right. You know I've bought Jesus clothes at places. I just saying I have it to give, so I would just give it. <clears throat> Shane flirts with you, never discouraged. I don't know. I tell him all the time he's shallow how. Have y'all ever seen that movie? <laughs> I call him shallow how all the time. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, no, I'm not saying what they said uh, about Jesus. I, like, I'm not saying that they, what they said was putting a dollar sign on it. I would just be afraid I would get in. I would be getting to put in a sign on him. Does that make sense? Like, I would, I, I'm afraid that would walk me to the territory of putting a dollar sign on him. Not, uh, not that what they said was doing that. No. I just, you know. You know. 
My favorite verse. God has not given you the spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind would be on a tumbler. That would be cute. God has not given you a spirit of fear. Like, you fear the day. <laughs> Monday morning you get to put your coffee in and say, God has not given you a spirit of fear. Yeah. But power, love, and a sound mind. <laughs> Sometimes we need that reminder in the morning. Uh, tell my husband he's shallow. How now? I'm serious. Like, I have called Shane that. Because it's like he sees like some unknown Taylor Swift kind of person. And I'm like, oh, goodness. I'm so confused. I'm confused by it. I can see why other people are confused about it. I'm confused about it. Because <laughs> he's like, when Shane is like pretty, he's Shane always been pretty. Shane is not pretty. He's Shane always been pretty. There was one time we were dating, and I've always been hefty, like always. So like he didn't meet me, and then I got large over time. Like I've always been a pretty large person. I never had a hard time pulling guys when I was younger, you know, but I was a, a large person. And we were dating, and there was this girl, they had been friends for a while, and she made a comment about it, and Shane tore her up talking to her. He was like, don't you ever talk about Marina that way, and that's when I knew I was going to marry him. He never, he's never been embarrassed of it, and I think that's, I don't know, that's, it's different in today's age, you know? He really is like, but Shane is somebody who marches to the beat of his own drum. Doesn't matter what you sure. think. My, Doesn't my, matter what my you drum say. Is chaotic. It goes. Sometimes it just slows down. It doesn't matter. And it picks like, back up and then it. Shane will be the person in the room that'll stand up and go against the grain in something that he like. If you, the room could be on one level and they could be on one subject, one mind, one accord, and Shane could be in there and stand up and be like, mm -mm, I don't agree with that. <laughs> and it not affect him at all. <laughs> We're both kind of like that. Like, it doesn't, peer pressure doesn't bother us or it should put, and put us, like, in a little box. Like, I'll be the first one to tell you my opinion if you ask for it <laughs> and in a nice way. But I'll tell you my opinion. I absolutely will. I won't, I won't cower down. That's why Jesus has talked about so much on this channel because I won't cower down to that. I'm fully aware that there are people who are not Christians on here and I respect them. So much for being here, especially with the amount I do talk about Jesus. Imagine being someone who isn't in the faith and hearing somebody talk about Jesus that much. I can imagine that would be a little bit hard. So I have nothing but respect for those people. But that's why I don't not talk about. That's why I don't. That's why I don't stop talking about Jesus. The news guy said that that it's supposed to stop snowing at three. It's still snowing. Is it still snowing? It's still snowing. You know, when it continues to snow, I'm just like, what did I do? What hey, I, I gotta get that on film. We don't have to do that. All right, what are you doing? I thought the thing was filming. I'm on live. Well, don't make them feel guilty about it. I'm not. <laughs> okay, draw your line uh, again. <laughs> it was like the doomsday clock thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, the doomsday clock. <laughs> I can't. Listen, um, the doomsday clock, did y'all see where it went to like 90 seconds to midnight? Y'all know what the doomsday clock is? I was like, they are not giving me enough time for Weight Watchers to settle in. I'm going to have to have me a double wide casket. And I'm not taking the mobile home algorithm that far, y'all. I ain't do <laughs> that. like 90 <laughs> seconds to, to the end of the world. And everybody's just like, hey, ain't nobody got time for that right now. I'll be right. <laughs> You're going to have to reschedule. Watch that, be, <laughs> watch that be how I end up in my double wide. <laughs> Some oh, irony. What? My double wide. Double wide casket. I always say I want to get to oh, double wide. Oh, gosh. Line. I'm going to end up getting to double wide I thought you were saying like the end of the world. Was the <laughs> you better have them wide. cut me up and place me like Tetris in there to where I can fit in one size. How am I supposed to do an open casket? <laughs> put, put like a, I don't know, one of my favorite blankets around me. Buffalo plaid blanket. Put it like up to my chair. You could just really put that a That wouldn't be there. obvious at all. <clears throat> hey Susan. Oh, I am listen, I am fun in a Bible study and that's why a lot of churches <laughs> I have been listen, y'all think that the comments I get on YouTube are bad? Oh no 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 no. No, 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 no. I have been, literally, I've been up talking about Jesus in a church, and I said, skirts don't get you into heaven. I was in a Pentecostal church, granted. But I said, skirts don't get you into heaven, and I had, was it five people? It got cold in there. It got cold, and it got <laughs> empty, and it's, I started to echo, because that's how many people left, when I said, skirts don't get you into heaven. 
So that's how I love your channel and I'm a practicing witch. See, like how I mad respect to you for being able to hear me talk about Jesus as much as I do and and be here like that. That's something. Because and a lot of people from the outside would be like, they're, they're, that's a conflict of interest. Like, you couldn't possibly. But Jesus, you know, make peace with all men. Doesn't matter. I mean, Jesus sat with the people who would be considered people that the Pharisees would say, no, don't sit with them. You stay clear of them. Jesus said, I'm going to pop me a seat right here. I'm going to sit with these people. I'm not going to do what these people do. But I'm going to be in company with them. How, how are you going to win anybody to Jesus if you don't go outside of the box? That's what I tell the church all the time. People ask me if I go to church. I do, but I don't go to church all of the time and just base my worship in church because the church was never meant to be in a box. It was never meant to be in a building. We are the church. You can't find somebody to speak Jesus to in a church that knows about Jesus. you got to go outside of the fence. you got to get out there and talk about Jesus. And that's what you got to do. It's what you got to do. That was the whole point in it. You know, back in the day, the Corinthians and Priscilla and Aquila was going around and they were starting churches. Paul, they didn't, I don't think they ever intended it for be, to be what it is right now. They might have. I don't know. I wasn't there. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I, I like to be out there in the middle of people who need help and who are hurting and who are different. Because it, if not, I'm just talking to a wall. I'm talking to people who already know what I'm talking about. Different is funny. Different is so funny. I get along with people like that who will just sit into me and listen to me. And at the end of the conversation, they can be like, no, nah, it ain't for me. And I'll be like, okay, but just listen. know that I believe that Jesus is the only one. Glory. That he died for your sins. Glory. <laughs> he rose back. Glory. The sins. Son of the Father. Glory. <laughs> they be like, my name is not Glory. <laughs> Stop calling me Glory. Stop calling me Glory. Hallelujah. <laughs> so what are we doing here? Getting ready to do some cutting. I'm going to start building the... Um, is that how you get your same measurements? Yep. Uh, it's going to start uh, going to start cutting these so I can... Um, Start building the boxes. It won't have the sides yet because I'll have to cut the sides from bigger pieces where we decided to change the size last minute. So, thank you. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time. I mean, you didn't want it touching that, did you? That's not. I'm talking about where you didn't want it as wide. Oh yeah, they were going to be way wider than they are going to be now. But it's better that they're not wider. <clears throat> less weight. Amen. Amen, 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 no, I'm amen. Up. Somebody said the church has helped them at their darker, darkest hours. Amen, amen, amen. Love on Two Feet could be a charity where people donate and proceeds go to. Somebody else said that. I'd like for it to be that. It's You know, you would think it would be easier to find people who need stuff done, but it's really quite hard. <clears throat> what color paint will you use? See, I don't know if we're going with white paint or Jacobian. That's the dilemma right now. That's actually why we I got on here. Go with blue. We might go with pink. We might go with. I doubt you go with pink. Blue. We went with pink one time. Yeah. Long, not here. A previous residence. I went with pink. Oh, Pepto Bismol. It looked like Pepto Bismol in that yeah. room. Yeah. Everybody's saying say green. Yeah, Pepto Bismol. I had a Pepto Bismol room one time. Yeah. I was going for the floral fifties look. It didn't, it, it was more like the um, Art Deco, Pepsi kind like of uh, early 60s bright pink. Why is hard with kids? It is, and it's hard with me too, because I end up not dusting when I should. Watching you when I was in a dark place, y'all helped me out. Thank you, y'all helped me out too when I, when I start to go to a dark place. I go to Jesus and then I come to y'all. White and black. Ooh. Need a prayer for our financial situation and our jobs. Financial provision in Jesus' name. Believe it. Believe it. Because it can happen. <clears throat> it will happen. Um, if I'm glad we're friends. I'm glad we're friends too. Pepto Pink. Listen. It was supposed to be burgundy. <laughs> 
<laughs> Mom was supposed to be Pepto Pink. <laughs> it was. I was going to add some floral to it and give it. I wanted it to give the vibe that my mamma's bedroom gave off whenever I was little. It didn't do that. It did not do that. When did our names change color? Mm, it's the same color for me. White makes it, see, white makes it look bigger. That's a pro to white. I love your style. I love your style too. Being a kind person. No Pepto. Have you thought about having a Bible study? I do. Uh, it would be over on the Fearfully Created podcast channel as soon as that gets up. It's actually really on the roll. Like, I know I said that before and it was and then I stopped it, but it's really on the roll. Unless God stops it, it's not going to stop. <clears throat> See, matching my mantle is a pro. I hated God for years because how can he give me a child and then take him away? It took me many years to realize that he took him because he was a very sick baby and that he needed a baby angel. So he took him. It can, that, that's difficult. That's difficult. And I, that's, I have some uh, sympathy for people who have been through that, and I can see it from their side. Um, and people, people saying stuff that have never been there, which is why I don't say a lot back to those comments, because I would just be speaking from my point of view, but I don't think it's God's intention for any man to perish ever. And I think that when the fall of man happened, you know, it's the consequence. It's the consequence. And I hate that. I hate it, and I hate saying it. I, I, I struggle with that, too. But God is good. He can't be nothing but good. Nothing but good. <clears throat> Kids are playing their video games. The girls got their PS4 for Christmas, and they've got Bass and Tater in there, and Colton and Kimmy. I think Colton's playing a Switch. They got done with school early, and I was like, all right, have at it, because we're, we're getting this done. Usually when we're doing this, the kids are either in their room finishing up independent work that I don't have to be there for because I don't do anything during the school time, like anything that's not school. Or they'll be like on their tablet. They didn't have a tablet until Nanny got on one for Christmas. <laughs> so they'll be on their tablet and that's kind of their screen time for the day. I'm not one of those moms who really, really limit screen time, but when I'm doing something else and I'm not interacting with them, then they have the option to do whatever they want to on a screen because it, otherwise they'd just be sitting and watching TV anyway. So they're playing with toys, screen time, stuff like that with the dogs because I'm afraid Tater would eat a, a nail. That's cool. And she'd have to have surgical procedure to remove a nail. Yeah, we said she looked like a cocktail wing. With a toothpick here. With a toothpick. <laughs> it is cold out there. Is it? I don't mind. You want me to go out and saw the next one? No, I want you to go outside and tell the cold weather to go away. I just had a bunch of, like, ice hit me in the head. The ice hit Yeah, a little bit. Like, sleep. I thought it was mighty <coughs> rude. It hit me in the head like that. What did I ever do to it? Shane, there is no ice. You know, every time I tell you to go outside, it stops. I promise it is. It was pelting off my head. It did. I'm not lying. Hey, from Virginia Beach, Virginia. German Schmear. <laughs> hey. I like my other wall. That'd be pretty, but I feel like that would be too much. Great. What do you think? What? German Schmear in it. German Schmear. Yeah. Uh, I like the I like the I brick. Know. I like the I made you that so I like the brick on my fireplace so much because it's like the focal point. I love the brick on that. I like the brick in my kitchen too, even though it kind of gives it a cottage feel. Cottage. Pray for me for my health and anxiety. Yes, in Jesus' name. I, anytime I'm praying for health, I always say body line up with the Word of God. That's what you guys speak to. You guys speak to your situation, speak to your problems, speak to your sickness, and remind it who God is and what God intended it to do. Because when the, when God said, let there be light, there has forever been light because it can't do anything but do what God said. The creation is not bigger than the creator. I need a shot of that. <laughs> That's what you call crazy faith, though. I got a crazy face. Well, hi. 
Don't get a shot. You and my wife. I ain't gonna shot. <laughs> I just took on something. You go on that side now, it's got the camera on this side. No, I'm just getting some screws. Mm -mm -mm. Maria, you're so blessed for having no expression lines on your face for all the smiling and laughing at you. Oh, I do. I, I never used to have this right here. Come here. It also might be some of the extra padding when I lose more weight at mine. Yeah, see? I'm good with it. That just means I've laughed a lot in my life. More parts of this makeover. More, please, more. I pray for him to help us out of the situation we are right in, in our country, in our world. Amen to that. Pray for my marriage. Amen to Listen, when it comes to your marriage, the best thing that you can do is when you get angry with your spouse, go pray for them. It's really hard to be angry for somebody you're praying for. Because I've tried it, and you're going to be like, God, I really can't stand this person right now. And the more you pray for them, the more you, that anger kind of dissipates and it lessens. And then you'll realize 30 minutes in that you're praying fervently for them <laughs> in their situation. And God, in that time, when you're in the secret place with God, he kind of transforms your heart into his heart. It's up to you to keep that going, right? Because if you don't feed it, it dies, just like a fire. If you don't keep feeding it that wood, it's going to die. You keep feeding it God, keep feeding it God, and you'll end up having his heart for his people. That's how somebody can look me dead in the eye and call me a uh, uh, fat turkey goblin. And I'll be like, man, you're, wow, you are so creative. God bless you. I just love you. That's creative. You can turn that creativity into a children's book. You can publish a children's book. Fat turkey goblin. I can see it right now in, in print, illustrated by <laughs> Shane Reynolds. Like, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I've been married 33 years and it's not always easy it's hard to keep it's hard but keep God first and pray yes 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 you can write me a letter it, it might take me a little bit to get back to you it takes me a while to get back to you but I do try to get back I, I write back every one I open every one I open I write back to right then and there it just takes me a while to go through it and it's not cheap to send mail back. That's why the cards are, get, take a little bit to get to y'all. Because I walked out of the post office the other day spending like $200 to send out like 200 something cards. So like it's not, that's why I have to do it slowly. That's why some people probably don't even watch me anymore, but they're going to get a Christmas card this summer. <laughs> what in the world? I'm determined though. I'll have this on Oh, you're boxing it. Shane, that's so smart. That's so smart. <clears throat> Better late than never. That's my motto, Wendy. <laughs> Where's Tater and the children? They're in there. I just, I, they're in there playing their game. If, if I repeat myself, it's because people come on and they that haven't been on here and they ask questions and I want to answer them for them. They, uh, they're in there playing their video games they got for Christmas. And Binks and Tater's in there so Tater don't eat no nails. Binks could probably come out here, but Tater would freak out without Binks. Binks won't eat no nails. I ain't never caught Binks eating no nails or nothing. Tater will eat paint for fun. That's why you don't see her in my makeup in my makeover videos. She will literally eat ma paint for fun. It's literally, if anybody's seen the, the, the meme, the Walking Dead meme, of when it says something like, uh... When you see your dog has something in their mouth that they shit and, and, and it has them run, like, what you got there? What you got there? <laughs> tater. Like, that is Tater. I, I have to have my eye on her at all times. Somebody does. The kids, Shane, somebody has to have their eye on her at all times. I'm thinking about putting her in classes. <laughs> hey, Eleanor. Hey, LT, neighbor. Help, help you. Hope you got my gift. Did you have your address on there, Shell, so that I can send a thank you card? Or did you send through Amazon? 
Yes, as the recipient of two Christmas cards, yes, Marina does send back a card and they are personalized and I'm so appreciative of her for this. You might get them in April, but they're personalized. <laughs> I don't ever just sign my name on it. I make sure I, I take time. I will enjoy opening them. It's not a chore. So I like to sit there. I like to look at the card. I like to read. If you guys put anything in there, I like to read it. And then I like to write something back that has something to do with the card or you or what you said. But yeah, I had somebody message me... Uh, it was like August last year, and they were like, better late than never, Marina. <laughs> I was like, I'm so sorry it's late, but I said I was going to get back to you. You never said that it would get there on time. Never said I was going to get there by Christmas. <laughs> I need to cut those suckers. They're talons. <clears throat> Boxing it still? Yeah, I had to switch to a smaller screw because it was wanting to split it. And I was like, no, 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 no. Oh, that's not going to work. I have some thank you cards I'm sending you with many dogs on them. Oh, <laughs> I love getting the cards with anything like that on them. Hey, Eva! What you doing, girl? Phyllis story. Oh, man. Y'all remember the Phyllis days. There was one time she got mad at me over the trash can. Y'all remember that trash can Phyllis story? I was wild. You know, Phyllis has become pretty daggone nice lately, though. I'll have to say. We're still in a competition when it comes to springtime flowers. Um, but she can get a little feisty come springtime because she wants her flowers to look better than mine. And that booger went out last year. And outdid herself. Outdid herself on flowers. Hey, Madeline. Thank you, Madeline. But I, I wish that you had said hi and I could have seen it. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> I'm still here. Through faith and grace, I'm still here. I knew I'd be here for a while. I've been here for 123 minutes. And I came on here to get an answer. Nanny's doing good. She does have to have surgery, though. Soon. In April, I think. I love the relationship you and Shane have. Oh, it's taking some work. It's taking some work. He's my best friend. Best friend on the planet. When I get mad at him, I can get mad at the lover in him because he's my, like, lover and he's my best friend. So I can get mad at the lover, but then I'm still best friends with the best friend. And I can get mad at the best friends, but I'm still lovers with the lover. Right? Yeah. That's how I kind of go off that. My brother is doing good. Did this live just start? No, I've been on here a hot minute. Uh, let's see, 30, 60, 90. It has not been. Has it been two hours? It has been two hours. Oh my goodness gracious. Yes, you can turn it into a mobile mansion. You do that now, I don't think. Do you regret doing him wrong years ago? Absolutely. <laughs> I don't know anybody who would say no to that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, daddy, that's, that eats at me every day. <clears throat> that eats at me every day of my life. Every minute of every day. Every second of every minute of every day. Every millisecond of every second of every minute of every day. <clears> they <throat> worship song right now. Steady by For King and Country. That's always been my anthem. Because I... That and... Is it Danny Yoki? Haven't seen it yet. Those are both older songs. But uh, God, when God told me I was going to start YouTube, I was at my washer and I was praying for direction. I was like, what am I going to do? God, like, where do you want me to go? The church, it's just not... I, anytime I got behind the pulpit, it did not feel right. Anytime I went anywhere... It didn't, to speak, it didn't feel right. And I was like, what do you want me to do? And that song came on. You just haven't seen it yet. And right then, I was like, I'm going to be on YouTube. And people laughed at me. They are like, you're not going on YouTube. And I was like, I'm going to be on YouTube. God said I'm going to be on YouTube. I don't want to be on YouTube. I kind of do, but God said I'm going to be on YouTube. So I'm on YouTube. <laughs> <clears throat> 
Yeah, girl, been hanging out the whole time. Got my sink cleaned out. Feels like I have a friend in the kitchen. It's so cold and snowy where I am. It's cold and snowy. Well, Shane says it's snowing here too. I ain't seen the daggone snowflake. <laughs> but he says it's icing now. <clears throat> It's still snow. Have you been on live for yeah, two hours already? Yeah. I have. I'm, I I don't think anybody's here who was here at the beginning except for my friend who was washing dishes because I know I go on and on and on and on a lot. Revival is in the air. I love that. It is. It's, it stays in the air, though, because we carry it with us. I carry it everywhere I go. It's going to be a revival. That's what I had to used to tell the people at the church. They'd say, man, it's so dead in here. Why is it dead? I said, it's only dead if you're dead because I could shout Jesus in a in a graveyard. I, I don't need nobody to shout with me. I don't need nobody to sing with me. I got it in me. I can shout in a graveyard. Because Jesus is still Jesus in a graveyard. Right, Shane? Jesus, Jesus is definitely Jesus in a graveyard. I don't need a man. <laughs> I need a man. Jesus shows out in the I, graveyard. Think, I think I'm going to let y'all go. <laughs> you Sir, are you still here from the beginning? <laughs> I mean, it's going to be floating shelves. Yes, I'm sorry. Did I miss that? It's going to be floating shelves. Um, oh, no. I almost just knocked over a drink. Uh, that's going to fly. Bye, Brenda. Um, you can probably see it better now, can't you? It's going to be like floating shelves, but it's going to be like shadow shelves almost. So. We are. I'm going to continue to film this. Hopefully it'll be up soon. i got to edit it, and it might take a little bit. It might not be a long video, but like I, cause like I said, it's going to be part one and part two, and I hate doing that. But y'all will see during part two why I have to do that. Because it's, it's, part two is big. Part two is really big. So. I love y'all. Wait, wait, wait. Keep them on for just a little bit longer. Why? We gotta see what it looks like when I pop it up. Right? Oh, okay. Shane wants you to. Shane wants y'all to see what it looks like when he gets the first one up there. Let me get three more screws in. Bye, Kathy. Go fix you something good. What are you cooking? I don't know what I'm cooking yet. I may be cooking PB and J. No. Oh, I'm making barbecue sandwiches in Atlanta. Yes. I just got here. Don't leave. I ain't leaving yet. Shane said I had to stay until he shows y'all one of them going up. Ooh, the girls room turned out amazing. It's my favorite makeover so far. Well, that in my fireplace. My fireplace, man, we worked hard on those measurements. That was, that was a rough one. <clears throat> Bye, Nikki. Oh, Nikki. I emailed you. Did you get it? When did you email me? Has it been lately? Recently? Oh, we built this house on memory. Now, granted, it's not going to go fully back because I'll have to still cut some uh, trim off there. And I also still have to cut sides to put on the sides here. Okay, I heard you. Sorry, I had to finish that sentence in the song in my head. Ah! Yeah! Under high five. Under high five. Oh. No, you gotta go. No, see? <laughs> like that. Yeah, <laughs> Alright. That was good. It was mighty good, Shane. Alright. And it's level. Is just, it level? Let me see. Just look at that little bubble there. Oh, by golly, it is. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Is that one level too? Yeah. I still right. just got to build the, uh, I got to cut the sides and make those. All right. <clears throat> I love you guys. I hope you have a blessed. Hey, Tracy. <laughs> I love you. I hope you guys have a blessed morning, even night, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you, but Jesus loves you more. Jesus loves you more. I'll see y'all later. Oh, love you, monster. See y'all later, alligator.